was a almost full moon out as we came, and it was very beautiful in the sky. And of course, the moon is a Marian symbol because she's a reflected light. Uh, she reflects the light of her sun. And so the moon's often associated with Mary. Uh, in fact, when we left on the trip uh, yesterday, seems like a week ago, but it was yesterday, as I left the seminary early, early in the morning, there was a full moon uh, blazing in the sky. And that is a, I took as a very powerful omen. It's a Marian symbol. It's very moving to me. Uh, what struck me the minute I walked into the basilica and saw the image for the first time was, was how small it is. And I guess somehow in your imagination, and I've seen so many reproductions of it, that you think of this grand thing, but then you remember, okay, it was the tilma, it was the garment of this uh, simple man. It was like a poncho. And so of course it would be a pretty human-sized. Uh, and once that connection was made, I, I just found it you know, deeply moving. And uh, I did think of the power of that image. Again, no matter what you say about it, even if you're the most skeptical person in the world, that image did convert an entire nation and still galvanizes people all over the world. So I was struck by that when I came in. Uh, I found that very moving. Another sign of the, uh, the power of this are the number of miracles. And, you know, again, you go to a place like Lourdes, you go to Fatima, you go to other great Marian centers, and you find that, that she's often a vehicle of healing. She's an instrument of, of grace that way. Are people healed psychosomatically? Yeah, maybe some. But there are always remarkable instances of unexplainable uh, physical healings. And a lot of that's happened here. But also, you know, more broadly, miracles of, uh, of conscience, miracles of conversion, miracles of, of a change of heart and mind, uh, all of that. People come here to ask the, the Blessed Mother. Something I'm really looking forward to seeing are the people arriving on their knees. Uh, what a powerful witness. I think on December the 12th, the feast day, people come from outside the city. They walk all through the city to get to the site on their knees. Um, the effect it's had on, on the sort of the Mexican uh, consciousness is powerful.